Welcome to Amateur Hour, let's screw something up. I've got all the parts that came with my Bradford Mueller 14 foot lathe and uh, they need some cleanup. So uh, we're going to start brushing them off and uh, then probably dunk them in some evaporust. So here's the setup, it's pretty simple. I've got a oil pan that I've half filled with evaporust, uh, which is big enough to get most of the gears in. Some of them are too large and I'll have to come up with something else for that. Uh, but most of the gears will fit in this and then I've just covered it with saran wrap to keep it from evaporating off um, but so far it's you know dead simple and dead easy and working great so here we have our three stages of grief on the left we have the part as it arrived in the middle uh, brushed with a uh, stiff nylon brush just to get the uh, dirt and grime and dust off of it and uh, on the right, we have the part after it soaked overnight in evaporust. Um, I did brush it a little bit while it was in there with uh, brass wire brushes. And uh, I hit it with some really fine steel wool in a few places. But other than that, uh, I didn't really do much. Uh, I just pulled it out, rinsed it off with a hose, um, hit it with WD-40, wiped it down a bunch, tried to get the water off of it. But uh, other than that, it's just been drying in the sun, and uh, it looks like it's doing all right. So when I bought the machines, uh, the fellow was nice enough to give me the cutting tools that he had for them as well, which included uh, this set of gear cutters, which I've been soaking alongside the gears, uh, just to kind of maximize time on target. And, you know, they're cleaning up okay. They, they're obviously, some are in better shape than others, but... You know, can't argue with free cutting tools. You don't get much better before and after than that. That's pretty representative of what most of them looked like. The uh, vaporust cleaned them up. I didn't really have to do anything other than leave them in the leave them in the bath all night and brush them off. The uh, one over here on the right has a pretty pretty bad crack in it. it goes all the way through. So that one's probably shot out. But, you know, the rest of them look pretty serviceable, so at least for what I do. So all in all, the part's looking great. Um, the Evaporust definitely does what it says it does, which is removes the rust and doesn't do anything to the metal underneath, uh, which is really what I was going for. Um, screw something up like this, uh, you know, you're never going to get, you're never going to find another one. So uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I don't have a really good long-term plan yet, so I'm just going to, try to hide them somewhere in the house and hope I don't piss off the wife but uh, we'll see how that goes for me haha <laughs> oh, bender you're so incorrigible why does the closet smell like WD-40? uh 